Hi there. My name's Abigail Alkire. I'm an undergraduate student here at the University of Idaho, majoring in geography and minoring in geology. Today we're going to talk about the Mercator projection. So, what is a projection? Well, it's basically the reason that this map looks different from this map and this map. A projection is an attempt to represent our three-dimensional Earth on a two-dimensional surface, like a piece of paper. So here we have the Earth, which is a sphere. Actually, it's not a sphere, but an oblate spheroid. But to make things easier, we generalize it as a sphere. Anyway, so we have our spherical Earth. But how do we put it on paper? Well, we need a common reference mechanism. So we add lines of meridians and parallels in the form of a graticule. Next, we'll place a light in the center of our sphere. The shadows of the graticule and features of the Earth are now being projected. To project it onto paper, let's put a paper cylinder around the Earth. Now we have what is called a cylindrical projection. Now imagine those projected shadows and features sticking to the paper. If we unroll the paper, we get something like this. The Mercator projection is a cylindrical projection, hence the use of our cylinder earlier. Notice the distance between lines of latitude increases the farther north and south you look from the equator. This is why Greenland looks about the size of Africa. The Mercator projection was designed in 1569 for nautical navigation as it preserved direction and kept sailors on course. If they set a constant bearing on their compass according to their Mercator map, they would always be accurate in their navigation. But again, this projection heavily distorted the size of features toward the poles. But this was no concern for sailors, really. Different projections are chosen to represent area, distance, direction, and shape as accurately as possible. And no map in the world can represent all four aspects correctly, so there are compromises. There are three basic types of projection, and each one distorts and preserves different aspects in the map. A cylindrical projection preserves shape and direction while it distorts areas and distances. Conic projections preserve areas and distances while it distorts shape and direction. And azimuthal projections preserve areas and distances along the point of contact between the Earth and the plane. No map can perfectly represent the world, so it's good to remember that something is always being misrepresented, and to take each map you see with a grain of salt. Thanks for listening.